Howdy gang. Okay, going to be doing a little video on some uh, vintage defibrillation equipment here, the Physio Control Life Pack 300. So it's called an automatic advisory defibrillator. Came out in the er, late uh, 80s, early 1990s. It is uh, kind of one of the very early uh, AED style devices. I don't even think they had the term AED uh, back then. So they just call it an automatic uh, advisory defibrillator. So it actually has two modes where it will advise you kind of uh, an automated uh, whether to shock the patient or not, or you can uh, set it to uh, full manual defibrillation mode. And it had a, an event recorder with a cassette tape, which is pretty archaic by today's standards, and your uh, standard print output here with a thermal printer on it. So we're gonna start by hooking her up here. I've got the uh, uh, Physio Control Quick Combo leads here, and I actually plan on putting this bad boy in my Jeep. It's a it's an old unit and no longer serviced by Physio Control, but it's in really good shape and uses all the modern pads and whatnot with the uh, Quick Combo connectors, and it also uses the Fast Patch stuff too, which I have leads for both of those. So we're going to start by getting the old patient simulator fired up here. And we get the fast patch leads plugged into the machine. Okay. Turn it on. Yeah, we'll turn it on here, and it defaults to a normal sinus rhythm, and as you can see, we're getting NSR there. Looking absolutely great. So, you can see the tape recorder is turning right now, and Physio Control sold a, uh, an event recorder which would transcribe the entire event onto the uh, early Macintosh computers, I believe. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit push to analyze. Stand clear. Check pulse. So no shock advised because there's normal sinus rhythm and it's advising to check the pulse and continue CPR or whatever you're going to do, put in your ACLS drugs. Uh, so let's send this patient into V-fib. Okay, so we got a good V-fib going there. We'll push to analyze again. Check patient. Stand clear. Shock advised. Push oh, to shock. Like so the standard setting was 200 joules, so it's advising the shock. So we'll go here and check for an acceptable discharge, and I'm going to push the shock button. Three, two, one, I'm clear, you're clear, everybody's clear, shocking. And we converted him back to NSR. There you go, he's cured. Okay. Then we can fire up the thermal printer here if we want to, and you can either just uh, do a uh, real-time printing of the rhythm, or you can print a uh, summary of the event. It's got a little thing where you can fill out the patient's information. That was the initial rhythm there. and it shows that it's getting the rhythm from the defibrillation electrodes. Um, it 
It takes a rhythm off of the electrodes and gives you a lead to the equivalent. Check patient alert, and then we went into VFib. Analyzed, shock advised. And then Jewel selected 200, and shock was delivered. And there's pre shock, and then post shock. Back into normal sinus rhythm. Look at that. We saved the patient. Amazing. So, in the name of science, I'm going to take these uh, out of the package but unused fast patch pads and actually attach them to my body and see what happens. Let's give it a whirl. Wow, the goop coming off of these old pads, that is crazy. There we go. Wow. Okay, got my fast patch pads hooked up here. We are going live, my friends. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn our patient simulator off. Connect electrodes. It's advising to connect electrodes. And this thing detects motion too, so it might not uh, work quite well, but we'll we'll just see here. Oh wow, there you go. That's me. Look at that. And you can see my heart's racing a little bit. I'm kind of freaked out about this being hooked up to a defibrillator, but all in the name of science, right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, analyze myself. You can see I'm still hooked up here to the fast patch pads here. Going down through here into the defibrillator unit. So we'll push to analyze again. Stand clear. Check pulse. And thankfully, I'm uh, alive and well, so it's advising not to shock me. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and print out a strip of my rhythm just for the heck of it. Ooh. Let's see, I think the roller got a little stuck. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go.
And we'll go ahead and turn the printer off. Not too shabby. All right. We're going to get crazy here. We're going to put it into manual mode. And you can select energy. Full, up to a full 360 joules if necessary. And we're going to be a little daring here. I'm going to actually charge this sucker up. Oh wow, I'm very nervous right now. So I am one button away from actually resetting my heart rhythm. Wow, this is wild. Okay, I'm going to be on the safe side here. And I believe you can hit the disarm, but I'm just going to go ahead and connect the electrodes, disconnect the electrodes at this point because I don't want to risk anything. Okay, so I'm disconnecting the electrodes. And, oh good, the machine went back into a connect electrodes phase. So it went ahead and canceled the charge and the uh, push to shock. Oh, and we're at the end of the tape here, so I would need to flip that over here. But let's just go ahead and turn it off. Okay. And there you have it, folks. Still a still a little bit shaken, a little bit nervous. You you saw my pulse there go up to about a buck fifty, but I think I'm gonna live another day. So there you have it, the Physio Control Life Pack 300, full test there, and operational condition, looking good. All right, you guys take care. Have a good one. Bye.